This demonstration will show you how to use a representative lead test kit to determine if lead-based paint is present on components and surfaces affected by renovation work. EPA's Renovation, Repair, and Painting Rule assumes that any house built before 1978 contains lead-based paint, unless the house has been tested and the results indicate that the house does not contain lead-based paint. As a certified renovator, you are required to use kits that have been recognized by the EPA. Test kits recognized by EPA can be used by certified renovators as well as certified risk assessors and inspectors to check for lead-based paint. Until September 1, 2010, EPA requires the use of test kits that determine that lead-based paint is not present on the surfaces tested. To be EPA recognized after September 1, 2010, a test kit must be able to determine whether or not lead-based paint is present. If the kit gives a positive result on any of the tested surfaces, lead-safe work practices must be used. Alternatively, the surfaces could be sampled by a certified lead inspector or risk assessor to determine whether or not lead-based paint is present. All test kits currently on the market are colorimetric tests for lead. That is, they change color when lead is present. Different test kit chemicals produce different colors when lead is present. The test kit I am going to demonstrate serves as one example of an EPA recognized test kit. It is not the only test kit that is available. Before testing for lead, it is important to review the manufacturer's instructions and have all the necessary supplies on hand to perform the test in a safe manner. Kits should include the manufacturer's contact information if there are any questions about proper use. The swab is the size and shape of a typical crayon, with a fiber tip on one end. Depending on what you are testing, you will need to cut a V-shaped notch in the surface. For example, if you are testing the paint on a wall, you will need to use something sharp and cut a V-shaped notch into the surface at a diagonal so that you go through all the layers of paint. If testing paint on a wall, tape a bag underneath where you will cut to catch any paint dust and debris. You now can activate the test kit swab according to the manufacturer's instructions. Inside the barrel of the swab, there are two glass ampules that contain all the chemicals needed to do a test. Because the chemicals are enclosed in glass ampules, the chemicals are fresh when activated. With the swab tip pointing up, squeeze and crush points A and B located on the barrel of the swab. The swab must be used immediately after crushing. Now, with the swab tip point down, shake twice and squeeze until a yellow liquid appears on the swab tip. The swab is now activated. Once the swab has been activated, all testing must be completed within two minutes. While squeezing the barrel of the swab, rub the swab tip on the notched area of the paint for 30 to 60 seconds. If the tip or the surface turns pink to red, lead is present. If there is no color change, it indicates that the surface is safe and does not contain lead-based paint. To ensure that the chemicals mix properly, use the confirmation card, which contains lead, included in the kit. If the kit is working correctly, a pink or red color will appear on the confirmation card. Although the swab is not designed to be a quantitative test, that is, to provide a measurement of the actual lead level, the more intense the shade suggests the higher the level of lead. Any pink to red color change indicates the presence of lead and should be considered hazardous. Each swab should only be used to test one surface. Test kit sampling is intrusive and damages each surface tested. Following each test, safely clean up your work area. It is important to review the manufacturer's instructions on how to detect lead on other surfaces as well as any special testing instructions such as avoiding color leaching, which is when a paint color such as red discolors the swab while it is being applied to a surface. It should be noted that the list of acceptable test kits will change over time. Check EPA's website regularly for updated information on test kits and for a list of EPA recognized test kits and how to use them.